Hello guys, welcome back. This is another episode of my Monster Hunter Freedom Unite walkthrough. And today we are taking on another Shogun Sinotar in the Supreme Ruler of the Swamp Quest. Now, we're going to do this a little bit differently. We are going to try to capture the monster this time around. And specifically for the reason of getting a particular part of the monster, which I believe is the Sinotar pincers, which are used to make the arm pieces for his armor set. Now as you can see here, I have almost the entire set completed right now, except for the, the gauntlets, the arms, but those are still the uh, blood gonga. So hopefully with uh, any luck here, we can capture it and maybe we can get the pincers because they are a rare drop I found out. So this could potentially take a while. I'm of course not going to keep doing this quest and kill until I get the pincers, mind you, but uh, just uh, a, a little showdown on how to do this quest a little bit easier. And for this, I'm of course bringing my potions, and because this is a swamp with caves, I'm going to bring hot drinks, some paintballs to keep track of said monster. Uh, I don't know why I have flash bombs, but, you know, good luck charm. Okay, we have some trank bombs, I'm going to max out here. Some trap tools, shock traps. Um, a couple of large barrel bombs to help break the pincers, because we're going to do that too. Of course, whetstones, more materials to make more health items, and genpring fangs to help make more shock traps. So, aside from a difference in location, the this battle is pretty much going to end up the same as any other Shogun Sinatar. So, I can't really say too much for this quest. But, uh, like I mentioned before, we're going to try to do this a little bit easier by capturing the monster instead of killing it. Now, the weakness sign of this monster is looking at its mouth and see if it's uh, foaming purple. A little purple goo. And if you see that, then the monster is ready to be captured, and that's your cue to try and capture it. So, I don't quite remember where this guy spawns at. It's been forever since I did this quest, so I'm going to run around here for a minute. Uh, I might speed things up if I'm feeling like it, but uh, just try not to let you guys suffer more than you have to. Alright then, um, as we can see here, we have our Shogun Sinatar, and uh, the fight is probably just going to get right underway. Of course, because this guy is a Carapacean, I can't stand these guys. The sole purpose, they are cheap. They are cheap sons of bitches, and they have a much greater range than they have a right to have. And also we have Io Prey here. These guys are extremely annoying. and just don't let them touch you. Now the trick here is that we're gonna lure this guy, or at least attempt to lure him, into the shock trap, and we're gonna take a bunch of hits out of the pincers and hope to break them. Now my little plan there failed with the, uh, with the barrel bombs, but don't doesn't matter too much. We can still probably do this without out the barrel bombs. Now normally, without the sharpness boost from the a full uh, spirit gauge, you won't be able to cut through these cleanly unless you have the armor skill for it. But with that in mind, I am just gonna, I'm gonna wing it. It doesn't really matter either way. Now another thing that you can, guys can have if you're doing this quest is you can carry with you some herbal medicine to help get rid of the poison from these guys. Because Almost nothing's more annoying than this group of monsters here, the preys. Good god, do I hate Io Prey. But not as much as Genprey though. The Genprey just they they just fucking suck. And for some reason now this monster is in rage mode. I'm not sure what all happened with that. But yeah, it looks like he's going to throw a temper tantrum for a few seconds. Going to make another shock trap. Now with the pincers, breaking them is more about persistence than it is 
just raw strength. Because even though that you might have raw strength, it really mean a whole lot in the grand scheme of things if you're just trying to break them off. Because if you take the Yi and Kutku, for instance, you can have a lot of power, but if you're trying to break off a specific part, you might kill them before you have a chance to do so. Now hopefully, yep, this guy will turn around. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. See, every little bit helps. What you can do, and what I'm not going to do, is uh, strike the body first in order to build up the uh, spirit gauge so you, you can help better break the pincers, but I don't want to cause too much damage because you never know when that, when that part will break. Or, or when he will die, anyway. That's, I guess that's what I mean. A little hard to, to talk and fight at the same time. Especially with this guy in rage mode, because when this guy's in rage mode, he absolutely scares me. Alright, now that that, uh, he has decided to take off and leave for another area, we're gonna go and tail him. And thankfully, uh, Natalie is being much more productive than she's ever been before, so... I don't have to worry about monsters for once. I don't have to worry about her for once. It's a weird paradox, you know? Okay, now where did this guy go? He's probably behind me. Sorry, I needed my spirit gauge up. Yeah, you were just part of the process of that. Oh, crap. <laughs> Never know when just weird, weird stuff like that will happen. The amount of chip damage this guy just has bothers the hell out of me. And the range of his attacks, too. Good god. But thankfully, he doesn't get to hide up on the ceilings anymore, because we're not in the caves. Um, one thing that you guys should probably keep in mind, I might have mentioned this in uh, a past video, is that since this is a swamp zone, make sure you pay close attention to the time of day that you're entering the swamp zone in. Uh, and during the day, it's not too much trouble, but if you're going at night, make sure you have some poison recovery items, because... For some reason, there's some toxic fumes littered about here and there, and they could take away your health pretty quickly if you're not paying attention. Now, I just want this guy's pincer. He's not letting me have it. In fact, uh, he's throwing a temper tantrum. Nope, nope, please go away. See, the best part to, uh, the best way to get these pincers off is while he is in the trap. Because other than that, he's a little bit hard to hit. Or specifically on the pincers. Every other part of him is pretty damn easy. And plus, I'm sounding like a broken record here, these hitboxes are not your friend. So I'm just going to hide over here, take a few first aid meds, or at least one, okay. That's, that works. What about this asshole? Now, where'd he go? Around here somewhere. One of the things I don't really understand about this monster sometimes is, uh... When he goes on the ground, he usually chases you first, and then he comes up, but there's times where he completely skips that altogether, and he just stays put, and then he comes out. I don't really understand why, I don't care really, it just makes it a little less stressful. Oh, wow. Oh, that's perfect. Now we have a relatively clean shot at the at the claw. I think did we get it? Yes, we got it. So now let's take a close look at this guy's mouth. Does it look like it's coming up purple? No, it doesn't quite look like it. But then again, it's a little hard to see on this map because 
the rain does kind of interfere, so you have to look a little hard in order to see if this guy's ready to be captured or not. And the way I just put it, it sounds like he's a Pokemon all of a sudden. Now, oh. Well, I guess... I guess that works. Okay, so we weren't it capture him, or at least I wasn't. But uh, then again, uh, I guess it's not that... Was Wait, was that the... Is that the pincer I'm looking for? That might have been the pincer I was looking for, but, um, yeah, as I was saying, it's a little hard to see whether or not this guy is ready to be captured or not, but just, uh, look closely. I don't think my resolution is quite high enough for me to get an accurate judgment. It's mostly because of the rain here. The rain is, uh, does interfere from time to time, but, uh, aside from that, if you want to capture him, make sure you lay down your trap, and then once he's in, Use the Trank Bombs, put him to sleep, and you got him. So, aside from the whole killing him, this went as planned, I guess. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all again next time. Take care.